Hey, welcome to Plants Armory Therapy. Today I'm going to be talking about my Pothos collection. Most of the plants that I have were given to me by close and dear friends, so they're associated with with good good feelings. I don't know if that's healthy, but uh, it's good to be surrounded by happy thoughts. This is one of the marble Pothos that I propagated. This is the mother plant. This is my favorite Pothos, the Marble Queen. And this is the Enjoy or Jade and Pearls. I can't tell the difference between the two. Pothos is one of the easiest plants to care for. They can tolerate low indoor light. They can tolerate some direct sunlight, but they can burn. As far as watering goes, they're very forgiving. Once they're established, if you forget to water them, they'll be fine. If you overwater them, as long as they don't sit in water, they're very forgiving. They're one of the best air purifiers for indoors. And they're nice looking plants. And since they're easy to care for, they stay nice. And added bonus is that they come in different cultivars. So you don't have to learn different care routines. The Pothos Enjoy and the Pothos Jade and Pearl, there are very slight differences between them. They're, I think the Jade and Pearl or the Enjoy is a cross with the Marble Queen. But the difference is that the size of the leaves are different. So to people who don't know, they're going to think you have two different types of plants. The care is the same, but they do grow differently. The Golden Pothos, you just propagate it, it roots and takes off. The Marble Queen, it takes longer, it grows slower. It, the color changes. If you give them too much light, the variegation turns very harsh. If you give it just enough light, it looks like a watercolor painting. But all the pothos, if you don't give it enough lights, they'll revert back to the green. That's why I don't have the green jade pothos. I figured it doesn't matter. My mother plant uh, gets very little light and it's solid green. Well, it's green enough. I propagated both of these cultivars in soil and this is the difference. The golden pothos, it just rooted and took off. Look how long it is. While the silver or the marble queen just stayed a tuffet of leaves and then I tried to make it grow faster. I put it in a little bit more sun and then it got burnt. I also tried to propagate both of these plants in water and this is the Marble Queen. I took a branch that didn't get enough light so reverted back to green and these were sitting in water for about a week, week and a half and there's growth coming. There's more, um, there's leaves, there's sprouts coming up but there's no roots. Uh, there's one root bud there that started but this is the only one and yep that's the only one. So I'm going to keep this in water for a couple of more weeks and hopefully they'll propagate and because they have the genetics to turn into the marble queen and it's been months since i bought one it's been months since i saw one and i don't think i'm going to see another one this is the golden pothos so look how fast that they rooted and look how well this is a dud but look how fast that they rooted um they seem like they just uh they're just very easy to propagate Okay, that's a dud. But this plant is one of the easiest plants to care for. And the reason why I like it is because it's also a very good air purifier. And mind you, look how fast these roots have grown. And I put these cuttings in at the same time. I cut them from the plants, the mother plants, and I put them into the water at the same time. And I had them in um, low indirect light in this side by side for about a week and week and a half and this is the results. I'm going to pot the golden pothos and I have a lot of these uh, leftover um, coffee filters for when I used to make my own coffee. I put a layer of gravel on the bottom of the pot because I'm a firm believer that it helps with drainage and decreases your risk for root rot. My soil mixture is two parts of potting soil, one part of perlite, not vermiculite. Actually, vermiculite will work too. 
and one part of orchid bark. The wood will help absorb some of the nutrients in the soil so it won't run off with the drainage water and as the wood uh, slowly decays it will release some of the uh, nutrients back into the soil for the plant. I like propagating pothos by stems rather than leaf cuttings because they work they develop into fuller plants faster. I try to arrange the stems uh, how I think they'll look nice coming out of the pot. I it depends if I'm going to clip off the, some of the stem before I put it in. If the stem is rotten, I don't want the rot to go all the way up the stem and uh, inhibit the plant. Um, and then sometimes if the stem is healthy, you can use it as a spike to keep your uh, stem in place. I've grown confident over my soil recipe. I've developed it over a lot of trial and error. I like my plants to grow fast and look nice. Uh, but um, these plants will actually grow fine and look great in regular potting soil. Since I'm going to keep this plant outside in the bright indirect sun, well it will grow faster than inside in the dim light. I'm going to top it off with uh, some gravel to keep it in place because when I water it I'm just probably going to just gently hose it down and I don't want the the water to displace any of these branches. It only take a couple days before this uh, plant uh, stabilizes itself and secures itself in this pot but until then I just want to take as much care as I can. This is a plant that I propagated about well a couple days ago and look how well it's doing. Um, all of the leaves have turned upright, the plant looks healthy, it's getting new shoots and pretty soon I can take it in the house. I'll just dump out this gravel, replace it with decorative gravel. This is the next, actually two days later, and this plant had turned off all its leaves and has new shoots and looks like it's gonna be fine. It just looks like a, it just looks like a beautiful plant. Well, I hope you were able to learn a thing or two from my trial and error. I hope this uh, video was helpful. Please like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching. Aloha.